the entrance antiphon. In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for a member of our parish community who is ill. We pray for his well-being. Today we have a memorial for St. Isidore. St. Isidore is a saint, a patron saint for farmers, farm workers, and for farming communities. And so very appropriate for St. Alexander Church in our local community as we have a lot of farm work in our area, a lot of you that are involved with farming and have been involved with farming throughout the years, including my parents and my family members back in Wisconsin. So St. Isidore, patron of farm workers and farming communities. Let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, to whom belongs all creation and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, inspire us by the example of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives to send and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number, who went out without any mandate from us, have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you, along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I call you my friend, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This command, this I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Saint Isidore, our saint for the day, is a saint from Spain near Madrid, a farm worker, a poor, and yet he found ways to continue to share whatever he had with the poor that were around him, those that were more poor than, than he. And so throughout his life, being a farm worker, becoming a saint, and a saint then that is a patron for, for us, those that work on the farms, those that are in farming communities. And so we we pray to St. Isidore today to watch over us in our families, in our faith community, in our work environment, especially those that are farm workers today and perhaps in areas of risk because of the COVID-19 virus and finding themselves in work environments that are difficult sometimes to maintain distances and uh, perhaps working close together and finding themselves at risk. So we pray to St. Isidore. Keep our farm workers safe. Keep all those in our farming communities safe, protected from all harm, especially from the coronavirus. In this passage that we have today from the Acts of the Apostles, the two disciples, Paul and Barnabas, going and being sent, notice that they're being sent out with, with two others. Uh, Silas goes out with them, and um, who's the other one? <laughs> Silas and Judas, they also called Barsabas. They, they send them out perhaps to, to give confirmation of the message that, they're, that Paul and Barnabas are bringing back to Antioch. And the message is just a wonderful message. I want to start with this line that we have in this message at the beginning. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us. What a wonderful line, right? 
Wouldn't it be wonderful if everything that we do comes from the Holy Spirit working in us and through us? So I'd like to begin today just by pointing out with that line, it is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us. What can we do? What can we do to make that a reality in our lives? That when we act, when we speak, when we think, it's the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us, working in us, the Holy Spirit. And I'd like to suggest that this comes from all of us as we pray, as we try to draw closer to the Lord, that we do this with an openness, an openness to the working of the Spirit in us. We do it through prayer, speaking to God, looking for God's will for us. We do it, to, do it by having this openness to the Holy Spirit, sometimes taking us in directions that are new to us, inspiring us to respond in new ways. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us. We encounter that decision of the Holy Spirit when we're looking for truth, truth. When we're looking for the word that passes from Jesus' mouth into our hearts, into our minds, that guides us. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us. So it comes from some work, from liturgical work, seeking the presence of the Lord in our lives so that as we present something to others, as we take in something to ourselves, that it comes from this prayerful attitude of trying to be open to the truth and the working of the Spirit in our lives. The second part of this message is they, they tell the community in Antioch that we recognize some people have burdened you and we come to you with just a few things that are essential. In a sense, presenting to them what's most important. And with that, I would like to also say uh, an opportunity for us to think about our own lives. What do you consider essential, essential in your relationship with the Lord? If you had to tell somebody, this is essential to me in my relationship with the Lord. I have to be attentive to these things. Otherwise, I spiritually turn away from the Lord. I'm not fully alive. We have some things in the Gospel reading today that we might use. Love one another as I love you, to always respond in love, to treat one another as friends, to look at producing fruit in ourselves and others. We can bring those to the fore as we look at what is essential but also to think about specifically what might be essential for you, for you personally. For some, it might be, I need to spend time in prayer in the morning in quiet, just by myself with the Lord. For someone else, it might be, that prayer time needs to be with Scripture. I need to spend some time just meditating on Scripture. For someone else, it might be, I need to take a walk I need to slow my pace down, the pace of my gait, the pace of my thinking. I need to take a walk in the morning with the Lord. What's essential for you? What's essential for you in your relationship with the Lord? It might be essential as well. Just to, I need to have an examine of conscience every night before I go to bed. I need to take a look at my day to see where the Lord was active and where I need to ask for forgiveness. That's core. Certainly the Eucharist is one of those aspects that's difficult for us right now because we, we're not able to celebrate together the way we have in the past. But I would like to suggest as well, even here as you watch the Eucharist today from home, that we're still participating in what is essential Difficult for us not to receive the Eucharist physically, perhaps, but to enter into the Mass fully from our hearts and to receive the Lord spiritually. I know it's different, and for a good number of people, very difficult to not have that physical encounter with the Lord through the Eucharist, through his body, perhaps through his blood as well. But I would like to suggest to you that for the Lord, there's no limits. For the Lord, there's no limits. 
And so he is able to still enter into our hearts, into our being, and to fill us fully if we're open to that. And so that's something we can consider as well until that time where we can enter into the celebration of the Mass physically present as we have in the past. What's essential? What's essential for you? That's what Judas and Silas and Paul and Barnabas are bringing to the people of Antioch today. We can think about what's essential for us, what gives us life, and what we want to do and need to do and love to do every day to maintain our relationship with the Lord. It's a wonderful passage today that uh, we have with the, as these four disciples go back to Antioch to share the good news with the community there. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us to do these things that are essential in our relationship with the Lord. May we enter into that message as well and live it. Let us now offer our prayers and petitions to our merciful Father. For the Church, the body of Christ, may the Lord continue to guide and sanctify us in his saving work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our public officials, may the strong hand of God assist them in using their talents for the betterment of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from poverty or lack of stable living conditions, May God look graciously upon their need for food, shelter, and community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in our faith community, may the love of Christ infuse our hearts and conform us evermore to his ways. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in the eternal arms of God who loves them, especially Ricardo Cabrera Rivera, who passed away on the 12th of this month. Victor Davila, who passed away on the 9th. Jesus Avalos Mendoza, who passed away on the 8th. Jorge Jerónimo Montebello, who passed away on the 9th. Enrique Ajala Garcia, Esperanza Torres Aguilar, who passed away on, in April of, of this year. May they rest in peace. May their families receive consolation in the spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we implore you to hear these prayers. We offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Isidore, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Isidore, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Act of spiritual communion. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Isidore, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.